now that we're seeing more and more of this and, uh, you know, understanding these aren't the real issue, there's much more we have to dig deeper and everything. If there is someone out there that's dealing with depression on an SSRI or some kind of antidepressant, what would be your recommendation if they're saying, well, wait a second, this isn't my imbalance. This is something else. What, what do I do? Well, one, unfortunately, once you're on it, it is tricky to get off of it. Right. So Very. you do need someone to help kind of taper and, mm. and, but meanwhile, right. I mean, starting to learn some of these skills mm-hmm. on your own is entirely possible, right? There's so many apps now, right. You mm. don't even need to pay for, um, you know, there's, there's just a ton there's insight timer and headspace. And, and these are all free ways to learn some of these skills. Yeah. So that would be one place because you can start to balance your nervous system. Then it's going to be way easier to get off the medication because it's mm-hmm. almost impossible to get off the medication without having some other, if you don't replace, if you don't have a way to manage those emotions yeah, and you just go off into a void, then you are going to, between the withdrawal and the fear, right? Rebound happens often. And then it's, you're told that, well, see, that's why you needed the medication, but it's not the medication you need. What you need is something to fill the void of that medication, mm. something to balance the nervous system. Do you feel that sometimes that goes back to purpose? You know, I, I feel like a lot of times it's a lack of purpose. It's a lack of fitting in oh. almost. What is my you know, value here if I'm just depressed, feeling sick, not really contributing and, and don't even know what I want to do with my life? Is that part of it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a piece too, for sure. And, and, and. Again, how our thoughts and how we think about things. But as our nervous system settles down, our thoughts start to shift too. We're not as, it's like our thoughts need to fill in the story. So if we're feeling anxious, then our minds and create stories to explain what's wrong with the world or what's wrong with us or what's wrong with the people around us. Yeah. And when we're more settled, we can kind of see it more clearly. Yeah. You know, with everything that that's going on as far as the the study coming out or the review coming out, are you hopeful that uh, you know this this will begin a a change to start to review things like all of that we're talking about? I mean, I know I asked this a little bit, but now that we understand a little bit more that what isn't, do you think that will you know really impact people and how they start to go about depression? That the pill is not the answer. Hopefully. I mean, I think it's, that's where it starts is right with people with individual, if individuals are, have knowledge, then they're not going to accept just here, take this. Yeah. Yeah. Because more people people are aware. The the truth is coming out more and more. And I think it goes against their belief systems and starts to change. You know, once you crack through that belief system that, Hey, this was, you know, imbalance in me, Mm -hmm. you start to say, well, what else, you know, can change, you know, what, what else? Because again, I I find it wild that we so relied on follow the science when science changes drastically, uh, you know, from day to day as we're seeing right now, what we believed was truly scientifically proven that this was an imbalance is now saying, well, no, not, not so quick, but it took 50 years, right? Yeah. It took so long to get there. 